Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we kick off a new playthrough on the channel for Bramble the Mountain King. Now, this is a brand new game, I believe it comes out tomorrow, and the developer very kindly gave me an early code for this. I'm actually going to be out of the country on holiday when this launches, so massive shout out to them for providing it roughly a week early so I could make a video on this. And yeah, we should be playing through the entirety of this game, guys. I don't see any reason why not. It looks really cool. It's kind of like a Nordic folklore inspired horror game in the vein of Little Nightmares, where we play as this little character running around this world of giants, all the giants based on Nordic folklore. And I probably won't have time to make a story explain video before I go uh, on this game, but maybe I'll make one when I get back. With all that said, guys, let's dive into this playthrough for Bramble the Mountain King. I've been very excited for this game. Let's see what it's all about. Okay, that's ominous already, guys. What is going on? I can hear some kind of, like, troll or something. <laughs> Just snarling. In my ear, it's really loud. Nightmare. Oh, a nightmare woke him up. Frightened by his mother's bedtime story, he searched for his sister's comfort, but she was nowhere to be found. She's been taken, or maybe escaped. Looks like she's kind of uh, got out the window there. Maybe we're going to go and have a little search for her now. We've got our candle. Not much of it left, though. So, yeah, take the candle. Hey, we're in the game already. We can explore. Look at this. This is awesome. Okay, let's check the drawer first. Ah, we can look around. Okay. Controls take a bit of getting used to. So we've got some matches here. And then we can rotate the matchbox. That's actually kind of cool. And open it up. What about over here? We've got a book. What is this? Little toy soldiers by the look of it. I guess he's been painting those. I wonder when this is meant to be set, because it looks quite old timey, doesn't it? Let's go and check this. Oh, so he's Ollie, and Lillimore is his sister, I believe. She's taller than him. She's like the older sister. He's like, I want to be just as tall as my sister. Well, maybe one day. You'll probably be taller than her one day. Let's have a look at this. Ooh, can we leaf through this? <gasps> a storybook. There once was a girl who snuck out of her bedroom window at night, even though her mother had told her not to. She went into the forest, and at first it welcomed her with warmth and a promise of adventures. But soon, the forest seemed to grow colder and darker. The girl was afraid and she wanted to go home. But Bramble crawled around her arms and legs and she could not get away. And the girl was never seen again. That's not a really happy ending. <laughs> Let's hope that fate doesn't befall our sister. That is what happens when you do not listen to your mother. Especially you, Lilimore. Their mother had said before kissing them goodnight. Man. She disobeyed her mother, now she's lost in the forest, guys. This isn't good. Are we not allowed to go? Do we have to follow her out the window? Here we go, guys, the start of our great adventure. The darkness outside scared him. Into the dark realms of the forest. Hopefully we'll find our sister, get back before uh, breakfast, you know? <laughs> but not being with his sister scared him even more. He's being a brave boy and going out into the forest. Some would say brave, but some would also say foolish. And I kind of feel like it's going to be more foolish, right? Man, look at this game, though. It's impressive looking. Those visuals. So, yeah, we're going off into the forest by the look of it. The nearby forest was a familiar place during the day. At the moment, we seem to be normal size still. But at night, it was a different story. Look at that little hedgehog. That's so cute, just running about. There was no trace of Lilimur, 
and Ulle wished he could ask the pine cones if they had seen her. So I obviously butchered the name earlier when I said Ollie. It's Ulla <laughs> and Lillamore. So I'll have to try and remember the pronunciation on those. But if the pine cones knew about her fate, they kept it to themselves. What's this all about? It's a little person made out of a pine cone. <laughs> That's funny. But there's a pine cone over here as well. A whole family of pine cones here. <laughs> Looks like there's a king and all the followers of the king dancing around him. I like Nordic folklore, like, but I don't know too much about it, but it has a very particular feel to it. Ooh. Man, I'm kind of, uh, I'm nervous. Oh, we got a deer, that's fine. Deers are good. Deers are fine. Oh dear, but um, there we go. Little joke to lighten the mood. It's actually really hard to do this in real life. I've done this across logs before. Keep your balance, and unless you've got really good balance, that's actually pretty uh, pretty difficult to do. Oh man, we've got a slippery slope. We're gonna head down. Whoa. Okay. We made it, we're fine. What's this? Sit on the bench? We've got some little pine cones around us. Some half-eaten apples as well. Who was here? Is this where him and his sister usually play or something? We've got this grand old tree. It's like an apple tree here. It's like a run button. There's a sneak button. Oh yeah, there is a run button. The run button is the right bumper on the controller. Look at the stars in the sky. It's a clear night. What is this? More matches. Oh, a key. Nice. Do we tip this out? There we go. Take the key and out to the other side of the shed. Jump. Oh, we've got a bit of platforming to go. Let's go. My Crash Bandicoot day is coming in useful here. Oh, that seemed like a a big winged creature. There's something we can do that way, but there's also something we can go somewhere we can go this way. Oh, is this a secret? Have we found our first secret of a video, guys? Or is this the way we're meant to go? This looks like a secret, right? I can't run any faster, by the way. <laughs> he's just walking really slowly now. Like he's scared of it a little bit. A light in the dark. A symbol of hope. Ooh. What is this all about? Is this something I need? A spark of courage. Huh, interesting. I don't know if that's like a collectible or if that's something we're meant to pick up, but either way we got it. So uh, that's good, I guess. Well, I can hear flute music. Or is it just, no, it's singing. Man, this is kind of impressive already. Let's keep going, let's keep going. We made it to the top. Let's see what this is all about. Yeah, this looks like our sister here. Let's go and see what's up with her. Ask her why she ran away in the middle of the night, you know? What do you have there? Lily Moore asked. It glimmers beautifully. Hmm. What a strange rock. Light as a feather. She investigated closely. <gasps> Let us play, little brother, Lillamore bubbled. See if you can knock down this pine cone. Aim with the, uh... Oh, with left trigger and then RT to throw... Oh, okay. 
We did pretty well there, right? First time. So it looks like we can actually attack enemies with this light power. That's kind of cool. Do we have to do it again? Oh, do I have to pick it up now? Ah, oh, so we attack, but, you know, we, um... We only get one use out of it, then we have to go and pick it up again. It's not like infinite ammo. <laughs> I just hit her with it as well. Sorry about that. How many times do we have to do this? Oh, we have to do it in the air. Nice. We got it, though. She approves. Right, now what? Okay, we just did that. Do we have to do it, like, <laughs> a million times or something? Oh, hit you. No! Stupid kids. <laughs> what are they doing? That's close. It seems like that thing's important. I don't think we should just be throwing it about, maybe. Ah. Oh no! They've fallen off the mountain. Is this gonna be like one of those things where they've died at the start and then it's in their like subconscious or something? Together, Whoa. they tumbled down deeper and deeper through the old ruin. Man, this is crazy. Sliding down through the tunnel. Whoa. Why is it daytime suddenly? And why are we tiny? This is kind of crazy. Follow me, little brother. I will protect you, Leela Moore said. Hmm. She was never scared like him. Ule wished he could be a little more like his sister. She's just jumping across those. Hey, Lilimur the spores! Be careful! And Ule loved Lilimur. She just knocked all those mushroom spores on our head. <laughs> we could have choked on those. Bad for our lung, you know? She's just running ahead. I guess we just keep following her, right? Across this brook. I don't know why we're suddenly tiny, though. Kind of crazy. Visually, this game looks crazy, though. Like, almost kind of photorealistic, apart from the characters. There's a bell over there. Maybe we need to go and ring that. <laughs> if we ring the bell, we'll, like, return to our normal height. Whoa. That one apple would, like, feed you for about a month, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, we've got a gnome! That's kind of cute. Alright, let's go and uh, check out this gnome, I guess. What does this say? Oh, what is this, a pixie? It's living in there, okay. I'll uh, leave you be. You obviously don't want to be disturbed right now. Where are we going? I do think they've used a, a little bit too much depth of field effect on this game. That's the only thing I'll say. Like, it's a bit kind of overwhelming at times. Oh, the bell's gone. Okay, we're not ringing that thing. Crouch, there we go. Still get the controls down in this thing. Rotate the bell. Oh, we can lift it back up, I see. Oh, he's underneath the bell. That's so cute. You okay, little fella? <laughs> he's guiding us to his people, but I think. Thanks, little fella. Guess we just head on, then. You gonna follow us as well? Reminds me of Grogu from the Mandalorian a little bit. I don't know why. Gnomes are peculiar and playful creatures. Look at the hedgehog! They live peacefully in daylight and keep in their houses at night. The little hedgehog in the uh, pen over here. Visitors that don't want to eat them were unheard of until this day. What's this? Oh, we can just have a little look around. Look, he's got a fishing rod. What's that? Anything I can do? Pick up. 
Oh, it's a collectible. So there's little gnome figurines hidden about that we can uh, collect throughout our adventure. Kind of like little nightmares. Okay, I guess we head on. The hedgehog's the best part of this game so far. Look at him just curled up in a little ball there. Okay, we're stuck. I guess we need to figure out a way through that door then. Maybe go to the main house? Speak to this guy? Oh, he's saying come over here. Okay. Oh, he's calling his little family out. Okay, now, is this game just trying to be too adorable? I thought this was a horror game. <laughs> Are oh, we playing hide and seek? Is that the deal? We have to like, we have to find them then they'll help us open the door. Play with them in exchange for their help. Okay. There was one here. There's one over there, look. We're a pro at this. All my where's Wally or where's Waldo depending on where you live. Skills come into, uh, into play from my childhood here. Okay, let's have a look over the far side. Um, there's one hidden there in that little patch. I can hear one over here. Oh, I see him. He's very well hidden. I think there's another over here. Oh yeah, I can see him. Look, just by the mushrooms. There should be one more though. Oh, he's there. Look, by the little carts. So I think that's everyone. Everyone accounted for. Okay, now can you kind of help us out, maybe? Get through this door. A. See? Uh, like, 20 hands better than one. <laughs> Off you go. Okay, I think we're done. Oh, his sister's gone. Where's she gone? Where you at? She's run off. There's loads of uh, little gnomes around here, though. I can see them all, like, watching us, wondering probably what we're doing here. Look at them. They've got little berries for hats on. The elder gnome. Okay. What are we doing? Do I speak to you or something? Oh, do we have to round them up and put them in here, do we? Round up all these little berry people. Come on, then. There's one over here as well. Go on. I hope we get something out of this. Like, they'll return us to our normal human size. Both of these kids don't seem that concerned that they've been shrunk down, you know? Like, I would be freaking out right now. I'd be like, man, what are we gonna do? We're tiny. These guys don't really seem to care. Come on, in you go. I'm wrangling you in, that's one. It's kind of hard to wrangle them. There's even one over here as well. That's another in. At least they stay put. If they kept trying to get out, I'd be like really like <laughs> frustrated right now. But they stay in. Once they're in, you know they stay in there. Oh, we only needed to get four in. Okay, I thought we had to get everyone in. The game even got bored of me trying to do that. It was like, that's fine, you've done enough. <laughs> Alright, what are we doing next? Getting stuck on a gate by the look of it. Ooh, got a giant pond. Alright, let's not fall in the water, because uh, if we did, we'd probably drown, right? Unless he can swim, I mean, he's maybe able to swim, I'm not sure. I'm not going to take the risk. Whoa! That's a bit of a late jump there. We made it. Nice. Oh. Alright. What is this? Some giant toad or something? Yup. It's a king toad. Please don't eat us. Ugh. That's disgusting. <laughs> At least it happened to her, not us, right? <laughs> and 
back into the water he goes. Okay, so some of the things in this game are friendly, which is good. Well, so far, everything has been. You know, that's good to know. I guess we continue now. There we go. Where's our sister? Looks like she's gone way on ahead and climbed up this mountain. Well, I say it's a mountain. It's pretty much like something we could just step over <laughs> if we weren't tiny. It's like a couple of rocks stacked on top of one another. But now it's become like a mountain. So uh, keep going through, through here, I guess. Wow, look at that roaring river. She's got way ahead of us. She's so much faster. Slide on our ass. Whoa! We almost went straight into those rapids. Sprint! I'm sprinting! I'm sprinting! I'm sprinting! Go! Nah, that was close. Alright, we got the sprint down. This is kind of pretty. Ooh, a well. Well, 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 guys. <laughs> Look what we have here. They were both curious in different ways, while Lillimor quickly ran along. Ulle could get completely enthralled. Why is he staring down a well until it goes dark? And what's so interesting about this well? And suddenly, Ole was alone again. Now we've got the pixies helping us. Is this Tinkerbell or something? It's cool how it's introducing all the different, like, creatures in this intro sequence. I quite like that. I also don't know how long I'll make, make each episode of this, because maybe do a couple of chapters per episode? That's very close. Like, I've heard the game's about five hours long, so... I don't know, maybe... Five episodes? <laughs> Oh, we gotta run. We gotta run. We gotta go. Ah! Nice. Okay, we made it, guys. We made it. Follow Tinkerbell. Oh, there's our sister again. Okay, we didn't get separated for too long. Oh, no. It's gonna be like a storybook. And that is a big nose on that thing. No, the horror elements, guys. They're coming in. Oh, no. We better run, right? Oh, oh, my God. That was very close. Now we're going down river. So our sister's been captured. We're separated and we're in the river. This is insane. The river was strong. And Ule was weak. He did not stand a chance. But soon the sound of the river faded. Ole was happy to have firm ground under his feet again. So wait, what happened? Did we get washed ashore? I guess so. Because here's the river. I guess we managed to like grab onto this branch and pull ourselves ashore. It's just a shame that, like, the sister is kidnapped by a giant troll right now. I guess we just continue. It's weird how, like, there's no cutscenes showing them go like, Oh my god, I just lost my sister. You know, they just kind of get on with it. And it kind of is a bit jarring to me, because it's like, now it's just continued and everything seems fine. I'm sure we'll find our sister again, though. And, uh, you know, we'll save her. We're like the knights in shining armor in this story, going to save our sister, little Ule. I think his name is Ule. I don't know. I'm just an English-speaking heathen. Oh, it's like it's repeated. This must be a dream, man. Yeah, this is a, this is his dream. I thought it was too good to be true after what just happened. It was just a dream the whole time. This is the reality, yeah, we're gonna be washed up on the shore. Oh, the toad saved us, okay. 
Thanks, Toad King. Like, I owe you one. I have to get you some flies or worms or something. Treat you to, uh, to dinner sometime. The Frog King made sure that his new friend did not drown. Great, we're covered in slime. But without his sister, he felt like the loneliest child in the world. Yeah, covered in slime, washed up on the shore here, our sister's missing. He just wanted to find Lillimore and go home. That's what I want too. But I have a feeling we're going to have a long journey ahead of us before that happens. So let's get going. But to do that, he had to find where the big troll had taken her. Big troll, all right, let's go, guys, let's go. Deeper into the forest again. I mean, just feels like we're getting lost at this point, right? This whole town looks like it's been destroyed as well. Is this like one of the gnome towns? Oh no, it probably got stepped on, didn't it? By the giant troll. Looks like everyone's died. Locked. Oh. There's one of the gnomes. Okay, let's uh Oh he's got the key! Nice, give me that key. <laughs> we just have to leave him to cry. Alright. Stop whinging. It's pointing this way. Oh, looks like someone's died over here. Oh, we need to push this. Yeah, we'll push this over. We'll be able to climb up and get to whoever that is. Probably like his mother or father, I'm guessing. So we'll push this over to here. There we go. Climb it. Jump up here. And... What is this? Is this just like a toy? I think it's maybe a toy, right? So give him the toy. Here you go, little fella. Just stop crying, please. Aww, his little toy pig. He exchanged it for the key, so we can actually make some progress now. You gonna follow us? Hey, man, we're not your daddy. You just, uh... He's gonna have to stay here, I think. I guess we can, uh, let him accompany us for a little while. Do we just keep going? Yeah, we're not going to be strong enough, surely. Or maybe we are. We needed like 10 of them earlier. Now he just does it on his own. Okay. Cool. Well, the little gnome is staying behind, so we'll keep going. Look at this. A bridge. It's a long way down, though. What the heck is that? Run, 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 run. Whoa. I want to have a look at that thing. What is that? That thing looks insane. Look at it. Doesn't seem to want to hurt us, though. At least not yet. It's like a giant rock. It looks a bit like a mole. Very strange. So we can go this way. Oh, the little hedgehog. Are you okay, little fella? He looks like he's, he's died. Can I pick this up? No. So we can't pick up. Oh my god. What the heck are these things? I don't know if they're trolls. They're like little stone totems or something. Oh man. We've got two different ways we can go. Oh, look. There's a little gnome tied up down there. It's wriggling around. It doesn't look like we can go this way though. So I'm guessing we have to backtrack a little bit. Head down this way. All right. No turning back now. Oh God, there's bear traps everywhere. Well, I don't think they're bear traps actually if they're this small. They're traps for something. We've got to climb this. We don't want to fall down though. We'll fall into all the traps and spikes. What the heck is that? Is that the big troll we saw earlier? I think it might be. Ooh! Alright, that was close. Requires some ace platforming skills. 
Ready? And jump. I think there's little trolls like tied up in these cages as well. Or maybe not, I don't know. I'm not even sure which way we're meant to be going. I'm just gonna head down and around. Hopefully we can free that little troll that's tied up down here. Just gotta make our way around, jump to the mushroom, and we'll be home free. It's kind of like a really twisted version of Super Mario. <laughs> right, we made it. Cool. Oh! Okay! We made it and we fell. So the traps are deadly. <laughs> he literally got mulched. Alright, this time we're gonna jump straight across. We made it. Right, let's go and find this little, uh, this little fella and free him. Oh! Oh no. What the heck? It was another trap. What is this? Is this a giant troll or is this a deer or something? It's kind of got like human hands, but it looks like the body of a deer. Very strange. You know what? Screw it. I don't even care. I'm getting out of here. I don't want to remain down here for a second longer than I need to. It looks like some other creature went to like eat the gnome. The gnome was used for baits and they fell into this trap. But either way, we're going to make our way back to the surface now. We're lost in the caves. Okay, let's go. It's so dark. Do I not have like a flashlight or some matches at least? So I can light our way a little bit? It doesn't look like it. Wait, what's that? Is that just the outside? Yeah. I can hear something, guys, like breathing, though. Oh. Okay, giant pig heads. Giant pig heads. Oh my god, let's just keep going. I don't know what that thing is. It looks like a giant muskrat or something. I'm just gonna keep sneaking. We need to get to that ladder, maybe, or that open cage, I should say, over there. We can climb up this. Here we go. Oh my god, we're jumping into the flesh, that's disgusting. Alright, this game took a very uh, sinister turn. It's gonna put you off meat for life, isn't it? Okay, we made it across, where do we go now? Oh, here. To the vines. And I hate the sound of that thing, it's just hacking away at meat. It's going like that, it's making weird sounds. I made a weird sound then as well. I'm kind of nervous. You can probably tell. Oh, there's more awful. No. Right, what are we doing? Do we have to crouch? His hands are like right there. Oh, no. Hello. Um, okay, what do I do, guys? Ah. Yeah, we just have to run for now. Oh, left trigger. For his eye. There we go. So we grab the meat when it falls down. And then, um, yeah, we blind him with the meat. Okay. He's going to be angry now, though. This giant butcher, man. This is horrific. Whoa. Okay, he's got a secondary attack now. Okay. So, lesson learned. When he does a slam with his hand, it staggers us. We have to jump when he slams his hand down. There we go, just jump it. At least it checkpoints, that's kind of useful. And now the meat falls down again, grab it at the other eye. There we go, that's two eyes done. Man, this is actually cool, it's got like full blown boss fights in this game. Oh! Right now he's gonna slam his fist, yep, jump. He follows up with a swing. Okay, you gonna rinse and repeat, yep, another slam. Now we run. Oh, and now the meat comes down again. What do we do? What do we do? What do we do? His nose? I didn't know where to hit him then, guys. We hit him on his big snoz. Okay, the uh, the way is cleared. I wonder why it hurt him so much, just you know, throwing a bit of meat at his nose. Maybe it stinks so bad that the smell of the meat went up his nostrils and just freaked him out. Either way, we defeated the troll. Got hacked a few times, but we got there. Let's keep going. This is actually turning out to be really fun. Like, so far I'm about 40 minutes in, and just really loving this game. 
Olle wanted to cry. A couple of hours ago, he had been in his warm bed. Now, he had almost died several times. His sister was gone, and he was soaked in smelly sewer water. Not a good life, really. Not a good time at all. Look at these giant steps. I'm gonna head up the hill, guys. We're gonna keep going. Push forward. Look at the little gnomes in that cage up there. Aw, oh, we're gonna save them. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. Uh, what we need to do is grab this. It's another little minecart puzzle. We drag it over. There we go. It's gonna roll. It's on a slope, isn't it? Climb up. Now jump across, there we go. And now we can push this off. Save the day. Hey! Don't cry, little fellas. I like how they just bounce on the mushrooms below. I was worried as they started coming out that they were gonna go splat, but no. Okay, now you can probably help me out, right? So we all go over to the door. You put some welly into it, we open it up. Let's see if this works. That's right, we're working together. Opening doors. Each door we open takes us one step closer to our sister once again. Good job, guys. Oh no, oh no, little gnomes. Is he dead or is his hat just trapped in it? I'm gonna say his hat's just trapped in it. Do not, for whatever you do guys, go into these traps, all right? Just walk around them. In fact, is there anywhere I can lead you right around them this way? Yes. No, man, I'm trying to help you guys out. Why do you keep walking into traps? All right, let's go. Do not walk into these traps. Good. Some of you have some sense. I wonder if you can like save all of them in that section if you're like really careful. You probably can, right? Anyway, here's a little village. Back home, we saved most of them, I think. Some of them aren't gonna make it home for dinner. Oh no, what is this? Wait, what the heck? We literally just saved them and <laughs> we sent them home. But we basically sent them to die because they went into the, the house and got killed. Man, I hope we get to like destroy that giant troll later. That thing's horrible. Look, it's shining its light about. All right, so which way do we go? Do we have to like, I guess we hide, right? Yeah, left bumper to hide. You can't see us in the tall grass. Run, run. Oh, okay, we got got. Okay, so we gotta hide and wait while that light's scanning about. As it moves past. Now we start running. We run over to the next one and we hide. Okay. That's that's one we just need to get to the thicket on the other side now. Oh, is he coming back? No, run, 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 run. Hey, we made it, okay. Good, good, good. Oh, that was close. Run. Go, 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 go. I think we made it, guys. There we go. We're into the... Into this giant log. Oh my god, wait, is he gonna shine his, his light through here? I don't know. Just run. This is kind of tense. I can just hear him wandering about. I don't know where he is. Ugh. Into the sludge. Okay. Hide, hide, hide. Hide, 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 hide. I don't know where he is is the issue. He's up there somewhere, right? I can't see us quite here, so let's run to the other one. Oh my god, run! There's actual traps in here as well. It's really hard to see them. You can kind of see them on the right side of the screen there. 
Okay guys, so what we've got to do here, as you can see, his light shows us where the traps are. So when it, like, moves away, we've got to run to these little thickets here. We've got to hide in these tufts of grass. And as he scans around, it will show us where the traps are and where it's safe to run. So we know it's safe now to run this way and into this thicket here. And then we know we've got to go kind of straight forward but down a little bit to get to the one over there. So we have to go kind of like this. Oh, that was very close. And this is actually tricky. Okay, go, 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 go. All right, now, guys, we've got to try and make our way down here and around. Ah, we made it. I think we've got a pretty clear way to the exit now. We just wait for the opportune time to take it. So it's forward. That was very close. And then we run this way to here and through. Oh my god, we just made it. And now we run across the log. Hopefully we've got time. Yes, we just made it. Awesome. Okay, guys, pats on the back all around. Pats on the back all around. Because we made it. Got a giant hands here, though. What the heck is this? Ooh, okay. Just hide behind the uh, giant severed hand. All right, guys, I think what we're going to have to do is sneak around the side and climb up. Go, 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 go. The issue is he's, like, looking through the hole, so we have to wait until we can pass by him, I think. Look at him right there. I don't even know if it is a him. It could be a her. Right, go now. We just wait under the rock until they look the other way. That's right. Now we go, now we go, now we go. And I'm not stopping for anybody. Through this little hole here. Let's go. We made it, we made it. Which way do we go now? This way? We made it, we survived the troll. That was actually crazy. He, um... Yeah, he was just everywhere, man. And that... that and that light that he was shining just made things really, really hard to to navigate, especially with all the traps about. We've had like two giant boss encounters really close together, and that's like awesome. It really does feel like a sort of spiritual successor to something like Little Nightmares. Which is obviously a very popular game on this channel, a game that I really, really enjoy. And hopefully we'll get a lot more Little Nightmares as, uh, as things progress as well. But for now, it's nice to just have you know, this game filling in the gap, so to speak. Oh! Alright, go, go! Okay, we didn't make the jump, but we survived, I think. Oh, what the heck? Man, see, the game is adorable as well, though. Like, we've got acorns down to... Okay. Yeah, the game isn't adorable. It, it likes to make you think that it is, and then it does something like that, where we just kill the king. And that little one's like, why? Why would you do this? There's a giant bone over there as well. Alright. I'm going to head on. Just going to ignore that we just did that. Oh my god. This is disgusting. What the heck? There's maggots everywhere. There's a thing moving under the meat as well. Oh, I'm going to have to jump to this, aren't I? Quickly, 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 quickly. Alright, so the creature's moving about under all the meat. We've got to make it to the other meat over here. So, quickly, run. Ooh, that was very close. Right, now it seems as though we're going to have to push this in to, you know, to make our way across. Oh no! There's a gnome in there! It just got consumed. Sorry about that, little gnome. We had to do that so we could make our way to the exit. Go, 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 go. We used him as bait. Oh, that was very close. Sacrifices had to be made, guys. Sacrifices had to be made. Please don't hate me. Ooh, what are we doing here? 
Oh, there's a rat or a mouse. No, a mouse there. Do we need to do something with him? Oh, this. What's this? Oh, a secret. It's another troll figurine. Cool. I guess that's all that's there for then, right? We just climb up. I want to go and see the little mouse. I really like little creatures like that, you know, little mice and hamsters and stuff. Alright, here we go. We made it to the top. Oh no, that butcher creature's there again. Luckily he doesn't see us, at least not yet. So I guess we just keep sort of heading on forward and hope that he's preoccupied. Uh, are we climbing on mold and stuff now? I think we are. Oh, it's a moldy carcass. That's actually horrible. That is nasty. Looks like we got to climb all the way down this thing. Imagine the smell. Not to mention all the bacteria. Well, we're going to make our way down its little leg. There we go. Drops safely onto the butcher's desk or whatever you'd call it. His counter. Is this boiling water? I feel like we don't want to jump in that, right? I'll try going around the edge. Yeah, just please don't fall in because it will literally boil the skin off your body. Oh no! We got caught. What is that thing, man? No. We're in the cage now. What the heck? Do we have to like knock the cage off the, the top? Yeah, it's a little nightmare style. Look, I'm gonna knock it over. Ugh! Freedom! Might break all our bones doing this, but never mind. There we go. That would really hurt. I feel like you break your back. Okay, we're out. We're safe. Wait, what are these things? Oh, the little acorns. Oh, do we have to uh, speak to this guy? Oh, knock the acorns off him. Yeah, he's not happy, is he? It's like they're attacking him. Ow. Oh, we have to keep moving around because they're throwing spears at us, these little douchebags. Leave him alone. Leave that big rock creature alone. Man, I could do with some uh, aiming practice, I think. Right, come here. And the aiming's actually kind of tricky in this game, I'm not going to lie. There we go. You're safe, man. You okay? Drive those peepers. Ola felt bad for the ill-treated giant. <laughs> Lemus might be big, but he had a warm stone heart. Aww. Is he gonna carry us up? All he longed for was a friend. But his face scared him the most. It's not that bad. It's nowhere near as ugly as those trolls <laughs> we just encountered. He looks more like Shrek or something, doesn't he? Even so, it seemed like he had found one. Yeah, you can be our friend. Oh, mm. there we go, guys. I don't know when to like pause because I feel like we've been playing for a while. I uh, I think maybe like. Mm this would be a good time to start wrapping up. We'll just head to the end of this section because we've played quite a lot for an episode one, I think. So yeah, let's go and check this out and then we'll maybe wrap up. <gasps> the lights, ooh. Oh no. I can see him in the, the background there, guys, on my left. I'm gonna get captured, I think. Oh no! I think I'm the 
members up, guys. What are we gonna do? Ooh, okay, the light saved us, I think. There's our sister. It seems like our sister, like part of her is within that light and that saved us from a troll. And there we go. I think this is where the demo picked up. So this is gonna be a good place to end episode one, guys. We just got saved. It turned the giant to stone, look at that. So the light changes these, you know, these kind of trolls to stone. And that's probably how we have to defeat them. Which is uh, interesting there. Ule was comforted by the morning sun. He had survived the night, but just barely. Okay guys, well that is where I'm going to wrap up episode 1 of Bramble the Mountain King. So far it's been really, really good. I've really enjoyed what we've played of it so far. And I do plan on recording the whole thing before I go away on holiday. So hopefully, if you're seeing this, you know, first episode, the rest of the playthrough should come over the following days. If I've had time to uh, record it all before I've had to leave. So yeah guys, if you did enjoy part 1 and you want to follow on the rest of the series, remember to just hit the like button down below, leave me a comment, let me know if you've enjoyed this, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I'll see you all soon for part 2 of Bramble the Mountain King.